Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, June 28th, 2010. This morning we're going to take a look at variables in Small Talk, and I'm going to go through a number of different kinds this morning. The first time I want to get started on is temporary variables. In a method, or for that matter in workspace script code, if you put anything between vertical bars, those are what's called temporary variables. They live only for the scope of the executing method. So if it's in a method in a class, they are created when you go into the method and they die when you leave the method. And that's all there is to it. So if I highlight this code, those variables are going to live for as long as I'm executing this code. So when I put in that 100 there and the 10 there, now they're gone. On the other hand, you notice that there's a variables tab in the workspace. This is something specific to the workspace. I have this variables tab here. So if I go back down to my code and I highlight all of this without that top line, then I'm going to get those same variables to be used but since it's a workspace, they will be cached over here. So I've got them in there. Those are kind of specific to this tool. They're not really small talk variables per se. Now, in addition to temporary variables, there are a few other kinds. If I have a class, so here I have a class called person, I can have instance variables. And what instance variables are is every time I create an instance of the object, I will get those variables. So let's go over here. I'll open up a new workspace so that I can keep that one where it is. And we'll just do this, person new. We'll create a new one and we'll inspect it. And you'll notice that it has some properties or instance variables. Nothing's in them because I haven't assigned them. But every time I create a new instance of the person object by class rather by sending new to it, I get these attributes. So that's instance variables. Turns out there's a couple of other kinds of variables you can have at the class level. Over here you'll notice a tab called shared variables. I can define a shared variable which is global within the context of this class and its subclasses. So it's not a global variable, but it's global within this hierarchy from here down. Something that you don't use all that often, but if you need something that's kind of like a constant within this class, it can be accessed by any method on the instance or class side, so it's valuable for that. Finally, you can have global variables in a sense. Classes and namespaces are globals or limited space globals. Classes are names that are global within the context of their namespace, and namespaces themselves are global within their contained namespace. So if I have the Smalltalk namespace, any sub namespace is known to Smalltalk, and so on. And that's really all there is to variables in Smalltalk, and that's pretty much what I wanted to cover today. So we'll leave it there. Till next time, have fun with Smalltalk.